Good day. My name is Maya Wawolabi and you're welcome to my YouTube channel and I want to really appreciate you guys for staying tuned and being consistent. Guys, I'm really, really pumped up. It's been a great, great week um, and in the community, we've been crushing it like never before. This last week was amazing in the ITC uh, community where we combine both the COT, supply and demand, and the smart money concept together with my experience, with over eight years experience playing in this industry. Guys, we've been, we've been killing it. And some of the guys are really like really pumped up, crushing it like never before. So this last week we went, we had some down trades that is normal. And you guys need to understand because um, a lot of newbies and people who are just in, new into this, they want a perfect system. They want something that is really like, oh my God, that they just don't want to accept loss from. Like, what even makes you tough is your experience, is your failure. What makes you tough? See, people don't want to know about um, um, how wealthy you are, but how long you failed to become successful. Tell them about the, the rough time, how they were... How they were, how you were in their shoes before. People just want to know that. I see people want to like become successful, not knowing that failure is part of success. Is a process. Is a process, and that that's why I tell people, love you, love you that followed me on YouTube, uh, back to back. That guys, it's not just about the winnings, you know. Um, um, I think in the month of February, I came on and I showed you how I lost a trade and uh, I lost several trades in a week and I was still closing that trade with a little profit but guys that is how you have to accept your week no and guys that is how that's what makes you an investor that's what makes you a trader you do win you win more than you lose and you're consistent at it repeat the process over and over again i'm really really pumped up so what i want to do is to share with you the experience this week okay uh and on our best um three trades and our uh, non-performing trades this week. We had about five trades altogether, six, six trades altogether. We lost three, we won three, okay? Uh, and the, even the ones we lost, you know, they are just part of it and you just need to accept it because in the, in, in the space of trying to go in on a very low risk, you know, you want to also want to uh, get your sniper entries right, you know? We had an experience with card CHF and card CHF was like, oh God, it just moved just two pips above our entry and dropped, you know, and and it went it went down. We had another one on card JPY. Card JPY, like I'm gonna show you card JPY. I'm gonna show you card CHF. But guys, I'm gonna do one win, I'm gonna do one lose. I'm gonna do one win, I'm gonna do one loss. So that you understand the process. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Just Get the understanding, get the process, and repeat, 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 repeat every single day. So let's get busy, okay? Let's get busy, let's get busy, let's get busy um, right now, okay? Cool. So the first trade I'm going to be sharing with you is um, NZD, NZD USD, okay? NZD USD, okay? Uh, we had, we had, the market was in a monthly um, location uh, was in a supply and supply curve, and the supply curve is actually the foundation of what we do. Okay, the curve. So we had a supply curve. That means no matter how you want to trade, no buying. Okay, no buying. Don't buy. The second thing we needed, we needed to know the level in control, and we knew that it was monthly and weekly supply that was in control. So what that means is that. We're going to keep making money by selling. And if you want to buy, that means that it's going to be a very short buy. As a matter of fact, do not even buy, okay? So that you can be you can be safe. Then from there, you can now go to lower time frame as far as 30 minutes from your uh, daily time zone, uh, daily, uh, daily time frame or weekly time frame. You go as low as 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Even sometimes you can even go as low as... Um, um, five minutes okay so we got that monthly supply um on the chart already okay we got that monthly supply on the chart already so and we knew we were in 
a long term sell right there, a long term sell. So we narrow it down to daily, and even on daily, we add more confirmation because this. Um, This demand level did not break this high. So that means the trend is up. Uh, sorry, the trend, the uptrend has stopped. So we need to now announce the lower time frame. So with that approach, I saw the market accumulating, you know, preliminary support, uh, uh, buy ceiling, up trust, UTAD, you know, and all of that in place. So we had the first break of structure here and the market retraced back into it, okay? So when the market retraced back into it, it created what we call Lipsy, okay? Lipsy is a retracement level when you know how Y curve works, okay? So we had the lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and a retracement back with a break of structure that endorsed uh, the, the Lipsy level here. So we missed the first entry here. That was on... Um, we missed the first entry here that was previous week, 7th of June, but this completed week on the on the on the eleventh, I think that should be a Monday or Tuesday, like I do tell you guys. Um, um no, that was a Friday. Okay, that was a Friday. Okay, so that was a Friday. So on the eleventh, I posted this trade on the group and I told everyone to oh, hold this trade. And we are good to go. So basically, that's what we do in the in the group, in the ITC group. We catch the move and we hold it as long as the market is still moving in our direction. So I think I posted it. Let me get the exact date I posted. I posted it on um, yes, on the tenth Thursday previous week. Okay. So the trade activated on the trade activated on on the eleventh. So this basically it a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Also in the supply zone. So that was it for us. So when we got in, that was it. So why did we pick this level on four hours? We also have a retracement zone here. We had a break of structure here. And if you go to thirty minutes, I think I sent the trade on one 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 hour okay we had an equal level equal low here rather so that bounced the trade back up into this zone and it dropped now it dropped well like dropped well this gave us 1 to 22 risk reward that's for NZD you know um, that's for NZD UST NZD UST Okay, so we, we, we push that down till we get to this level. And I'm still of the opinion that we're still going to get more volume. We, we did about 275 pips when the market pushed up into that place. Um, also, during the week, we also had some other sniper entries on one hour. I think that should be on um, that should be on the 15th. That should be um, four days ago. That should be like Thursday or Tuesday. Yes. So we added another position here with the you know, with a break of structure. We had a break of structure there. The market retraced back to this other block and the market dropped deep also. Okay, so basically we had over, we had over, um, over 40%, one to 40 risk reward on this particular trade. So guys, this is how you can rock and roll one to 22 uh, the first one is 1 to 22 risk reward and you're good to go. So guys, understand that you need to know the direction of the market. The direction of the market is basically the foundation of everything. And once you can get that right, you will definitely be consistent with your strategy. Okay, so that's our take from for the ITC um, trade that went well. And we'll also add another one that did not go well, which is... Um, Card chef. I, as a matter of fact, I even posted that on the group. I posted that on the group, on the free Telegram group. And if you're not on the free Telegram group, the link will be sent to the group. Okay. So one of the things that gave me, that didn't really allow me to put too much money was that it was not an healthy location. Okay. 
So and when it's not an LD location, I really want to lower my risk. But it's still not a bad direction because we had everything was saying us we should sell. So when the market got to when the market got to catch uh, when the market came into the zone, okay. When the market came into the expected zone, this was it. This was the zone. We we gave out the trade for itself. Okay. So what happened, guys? Very painful. Very, very painful. Okay. The market pushed up. Breaking out of this break of structure, we felt okay. I think is is now giving us double confirmation, and the market pushed into it. Like I do tell a lot of people in our community. Uh, once the market moves into it and it doesn't drop um, one or two three candles, you are permitted to close the trade because it means that the market will just be playing around that place. And you want to go in when the volume is high. And you know, Chef, Jeff, Car Chef, Chef is actually a London section pair. So this was this trade was actually taken in the London session, but it did not move until New York. So that's another thing, okay? Because if it is London pair, London, London pair, London trade, there will be volume that session. So what happened on 15 minutes? Let's see how it played with our emotions very well. Okay. It got into it and dropped. So the first trade, actually, if you are a disciplined trader, it, we, risk, um, we risk about five pips and it gave us um, 13 pips. So that means that you should have broke even at one to two. But you know, some of us, we are really long-term traders. We want to see a long drop. So the market retraced back up and um, hit us up. So what happened? Uh, after checking through, we realized that it made this place liquidity. And uh, it picked up the level, the next level on the next time frame. Okay, so we were expecting it to use this level. This other block level so it went ahead and used the peak the other part of it so and that's basically sometimes you know you want to get your sniper entry and the market doesn't want to give you sniper entry okay and it wasn't a bad one if you had covered it just that i like not to trade more than um 10 pips okay because it is more than 10 pips i end up going away from it so this wasn't a bad trade to have given 16 pips for uh, knowing fully well that we are heading to, we are heading down as far as um, 280 pips, okay? So that's that should be about 1 to 18, okay? But you see, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but let your win be more than, okay? So for those who are on the free Telegram group, okay? Uh, I don't know why um, <laughs> the two trees, the trees I dropped for you, I didn't know why that didn't work, you know, but... That's how life is, but I I know we're gonna make a lot of money um, very very soon. So stay tuned in the new week, okay? If you can see any other assets, um, part of the trades we drop on the group, we're gonna also drop it. So we had this lesson, okay? Because the market did not take off from this other block where we expected it to take off from, and it chose the next level, okay? So a lot of time I recommend that you pack all the levels together. Then you put your stop loss above okay but because it's my personal trade i that i gave out uh you also want to do the same so that's basically it and that is why this went against us so but for those who used the stop loss above definitely they will be good to go because they covered all the whole uh, they covered up all the whole framework okay so um, another sweet trade was um, NZDJPY. Okay, we dropped NZDJPY for a long term trade and it was at 78.79. Okay, NZDJPY gave us 1 to 26. Guys, what are you talking about? 1 to 26? <laughs> Jeez, 1 to 26. So we had all the conditions in here. Okay, we had all the conditions in here. This is the particular trade 796, and we went in on this other block. We had a monthly supply, weekly supply. We had the curve, which is the foundation of the market. We 
was telling us that we are in the sell zone and that all together with smart money concept and um, DPY gaining strength, guys, we had to shoot this trade. Okay, so I dropped this trade also on the on our Discord channel. Um, and people make like cool money, like cool money. Okay, cool money. Discord, yeah, this is it. So this was it. I think it was posted on the 13th. Okay, 13th, that should be Friday. So we've analyzed this trade on Sunday. We have our Sunday meetings. Every Sunday night, we have our Sunday meetings. And come on, guys, we cracked it, like, cracked it, okay? So on Monday, on the 15th, which was two days after, as it was on Tuesday, the market came into this place, hit that zone, and dropped heavily, okay? Dropped heavily, okay? Our stop loss on this trade was just 9 pips. So we did 1 to 26 using the same approach okay 50 percent other block of this we had a break of structure for confirmation we had a liquidity level about three steps liquidity two steps liquidity level that was created so that got our attention and we shot that so that all together is about one one to sixty something there about which is very very good we didn't re-enter this trade at all but you know some people really trade actively I'm not an active trader, I'm only an investor. And I do tell you guys over and over again, you need to know the difference between trading and investing. The purpose of making money, the purpose of, um, the only way to become wealthy is not trading. It's only is to become wealthy, is to, the only way to become wealthy is by investing. Investing allows you to think long term, okay? Naturally, a lot of our people would have come out of this trade one to four, one, um, PP1 is one to five, PP2 is one to 10, PP3, you know, but for some of us who understand the, the market geometry, the movement of the market, we can stay in, in the market 1 to 20, 1 to 50, 1 to 100. And what I still see NZD JPY do is going to still go very, very far. Okay, it's still going to go very, very far. Okay, and I see uh, a bounce, a potential bounce off here to come to this Lipsy level. Then we had more positions for a drop to the end of the journey. This is where we are expecting it to come to. So there's still a lot of room for NZDJPY if the market is really ready to really go down, down, down. Guys, one more time for those who are just watching my video for the first time, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel because you're going to be getting a lot of source that will in, that will help your trading. I got, I got some amazing feedback from a student um, who is far away and was telling me he can't wait to join he can't wait to join the community and I was like oh that's cool he can't wait to join that's fine you know Timothy sent me was he here Timo Timothy and guys you really need to you know let me get your feedbacks let me get your feedbacks let me get your feedback you know I'm really excited. Say good evening, boss. I want to really appreciate you for all you do or what you're doing to help shape all what I've learned, make a lot of sense. I've known about SMC, smart money concept, but couldn't make a sense to me of, couldn't make sense. Let me zoom it out. Okay, couldn't make sense out of the whole thing, but your free class knowledge on market sessions had worked on my markups and backtesting. And I've really understood how the market works. Guys, that's why I'm giving you guys almost free. Like, almost free. Okay? Almost free. Okay? And he said, the whole trading thing is really making sense. I now risk less and I make more. Okay? And he sent me some amazing entries, guys. GBP, JPY, sell. Come on. Look at that. Look at the risk. Look at the trade right here. Look at the risk. Look at the trade right there. I'm really excited about this, guys. So if you got some, he said, when I make enough, I can't wait to join your community. I'm waiting, guys. There's a lot to do in the community where we think together, make money together, grow together, fail together, and um, get back to success together. That's our journey. That's our journey should be, okay? So that's really, really cool for us uh, this last week. Cool. So men's uh, GPY delivered for us and really, really, it makes a lot and a lot of sense. So, 
Another trade that got my attention was NZD um, was CAD-JPY. So I had two entries for the community and I said this market was going to come up into this place and was going to drop. And if it breaks this place and turn this place into liquidity, then it's going to grab up. So uh, this is one of our lessons. The market hit into this place and it, it dropped. So now let's listen to me carefully, guys. Listen to this carefully. If you had lost, if you had gone into this trade with 1%, you will only lose 1%. And when you put the next 1% here, you will make back the 1%. You need to understand that it is about trading wisely, treating your business as, treating your forex trading as a business. Not just dumping around, not just um, risking more than you are expected to make because a lot of times the main challenge with people have is that they want to risk 5%, they want to risk 10%, they want to even risk more than that. And guys, you need to calm down because success is in consistency. Success is in consistency. Success is not in sudden wealth. Success is not in sudden wealth, guys. Calm down. Get this right. So this week, despite our losses, our lessons, guys, we made a lot this week, a lot. So the market dropped and came up back here. And let's go straight to NZD, um, CAD JPY. You know, CAD JPY. And CAD JPY really, God, jeez. CAD JPY really, really dropped, like dropped. So this is the daily chart. I think um, the trade was given on one hour when monthly demand, monthly every, everything was there, everything. So this was the trade as at when it was given. Okay, this was the first entry that hit SL. This was the first entry that hit SL. And see, you need to accept it. Stop forming. Stop being like you don't want to lose any trade. Guys, you need to understand that it's a process. So why the market got there, it broke through, good. And for those who understand session trading, you obviously know that this was not... Uh, yes, this was, there was no confirmation in this zone. The market got into this place, New York section, but there was no lower time frame confirmation. So that means that, you see, you would not have even entered. But you know, some people are naturally aggressive traders. They want to pull pending orders everywhere market gets triggered but it's fine that's it it's called risk entry in our course and you're good to go so the market retreats back into this place hit this zone and dropped see this is what we're talking about it just hit into it and did what and dropped and as it dropped guys it dropped deep it gave us one to thirty risk reward guys risk reward 1 to 30 and we still expect KJPY to drop some more. So I'm going to update you guys on this trade next week by God's grace. I still feel that this has the potential to go as far as uh, let me go to the monthly chart right there. Okay, so this has a way has a lot to it has the capacity to drop to about 85.85 or it drops back to 79, 79.25. And that's what we're going to be having the next long buy, okay? We're going to, yeah, the long next buy. And when we buy here, guys, we're going to leave it till it gets to uh, 90, sorry, till it gets to 100, card JPY gets to 100, 100.50. And that's the institutional level we're going to be looking at, okay? So, guys, that is how we rock and roll. We had an amazing week this week. And altogether, we are close to about 1 to 180, 1 to 100 altogether. That makes a lot of sense, guys. And guys, that's what I have for you today. You get, get your hands dirty, guys. Get to the chart. Practice again and again. Do it. Rinse it. Repeat it. And let's make the difference. My name remains Maya Wawulabi. And if you're not on the, on the free Telegram group, the link of the Telegram group will be posted below. And if you want to join the ITC before it is launched, guys, you need to um, send me a mail at contact at myawawolabi.com and even my WhatsApp number will be attached to the video so that you guys can come on board before the price spikes up. And goal is to grow the community so you guys can trade like an institution and see what the market is all about. I tell people when you learn ITC, you've learned everything. 
can analyze gold, you can analyze crypto asset, you can analyze any other asset that you love to, to trade. Guys, it's all about price and to get the price, you need to learn precision trading. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget, if this is your first time, click on subscribe button. And if you're totally new, make sure um, you subscribe to you. If you have any question, shoot me an email. Contact at myowolabi.com. The, the email will be below. And if you want to also WhatsApp me, my direct line WhatsApp is also there. And you're good to go. Have a pleasant evening. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out, guys. Bye.